<laughs> you are a very good... Do you have to work at impersonation? No. You don't, because Rory Bremner spends hours and weeks Nothing. and months just agonising every look. Well, look. that's why he's really good. <laughs> I'm not very good. You're doing yourself you down. You can see my look at Clarkson, though. Don't even look like you. He has <laughs> dark hair. You've got grey hair. No, whenever you would. <laughs> Um, now, you once said when you started, there was no comedy... Well, the comedy for the working classes was patronising and it was all Cambridge footlights. Do you still think that? It used to be. There used to be crap sitcoms for the working classes. Yeah, bum titty uh, wee wee. On, yeah, kind of thing, <laughs> and all around them and stuff. And then there was sort of footlights for the upper classes and there was nothing in between. Mm. And then I think when we started, we just tried to do sort of family characters, but they were a bit more intelligent. It is, because I mean, I one of the things I really loved about it was there was that an assumption of knowledge. It was sort of deliberately excluding the stupid. Yeah, you didn't we know what the Sicilian defence was in chess. You didn't get one of the jokes. Well, I think we just... We've got to an age where we just thought, OK, we're just going to do what we want to do mm. and we'll find it funny. Mm. And I think it sort of helped our relationship too because we Between genuinely enjoyed what we were doing with each other rather than just sort of spouting lines that we thought everyone would like. Um, I want to talk about cars, if I may. Oh, yeah, let's talk about cars. Let's yeah. do that. Because the last time you were on... It's Oh, really, a swear word. I thought it... <laughs> I thought it just meant bad driver. <laughs> I get called it a lot, you yeah. see, by... <laughs> um, now, we recommended you... Uh, when I'm you sorry, were yeah. Up. Cars. Yeah. When you were last here, we recommended you bought a Volvo XC90. Yeah, I bought one. And I had it for three years, and then Ken Livingston said it, it, it was just above the limit and he was going to charge £25 a day for us to drive it. Mm -hmm. So I swapped it in for a, a V70. So do you go down to Cornwall in your Volvo? Yeah, we go down to Cornwall in our V70. Prince Harry, Prince whatever he's called, <laughs> the other one, William. William, yeah. It, yeah. They're yeah. all down there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mungo! There's a lot of that. <laughs> Do you go to rock? Yeah, we do, yeah. I go surfing. And occasionally the Daily Mail bloody get me. Cos I got a punch, you see. Oh, and when yeah. you're in a, a, in a wetsuit, you look really, really stupid. Yeah. And they always get me on the board and I'm always like this. And there's always, like, the surf is about that much. The wave is about that big and you can see the sand at the bottom. <laughs> and I'm like, like that. Anyway, look, your lap. <laughs> your lap, your lap, your oh, lap. Okay. OK. Well, it means a lot to me, this lap, because I've been so disgraced. Mm. Well, unfortunately, from your point of view, there was a camera down at the Hammerhead when you approached. Oh, Who'd oh. like to see that? Yes. We've never seen anybody ever go off at the Hammerhead. Jonathan Ross got lost at the Hammerhead. <laughs> We've never seen this before. Here we go. Coming up now. Heavy braking, too much understeer! No! Uh, oh! A small gift. Oh, thank you very much. Problem is, is that James May is flying his plane home from the airfield tonight, <laughs> and now you've removed the landing lights, which means he'll be killed. <laughs> so well oh, done again for that. Thank um, you. Who would like to see Harry's lap? Let's have a look at the no. real one. Here it is. <laughs> and we're off. Look at serious I'm face. Determined to beat my crap record. <laughs> steady. Is that all right? It's steady and is that accurate. Mean slow. Well, no, that's wild, actually. Ooh, that was quite fun. The Stig did say you don't have much feel for the car. Oh well. No. Yes. <laughs> I think I hit the brake about. Here. Woof. Woof, yes, here we go. Are you going to manage to get round it this time? You're certainly ambitious with your speed there, Harry, that's for sure. Oh, I must remember this is a family show, must not swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at the back! Now you're getting up some speed. This is very... That's a very good line through there. I was like, and this is nearly good. Nearly and there good. he is across the line. Uh... Well, now, here we are. Obviously, the <coughs> last was... time you were here, in the old car, which was slower than that, you did a 201. Brian Cox did it in the new car. 
Where would you like to go? I'd like to go just above JK. <laughs> <laughs> I did say to my son, surely it'd be more comedy if I was even worse than last time. He said, no, Dad. <laughs> no, Dad. <laughs> Archie. You were 201 last time. Okay, Archie. One. He's already Yay! happy! <laughs> 40. 9.7. There you go, okay. ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. You're in that. You're in that area there, Ron Wood. Ronnie Wood. <laughs> I'm really pleased with that. You are pleased? Yeah, look, you are I the... beat Steve Coogan, cos he likes cars. He you know, does. He's always in cars. And not only did he beat Steve Coogan, you are by far our most improved guest. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, Harry Enfield! Yeah.